An earthquake measuring 5.8 on the Richter scale rocked the city of Anchorage Monday. Officials say many homeowners don't have the necessary insurance that will cover them in case of earthquake damage. ABC Alaska's Whitney L.B. Miller takes a look at what you need to know about the coverage in your home. Whitney. That's right, Megan. I visited a local State Farm agent to find out just how many people here in Alaska are, are in Anchorage are actually covered in case of an earthquake. And surprisingly, for a city that is used to seeing them on both a large and small scale, not very many Alaskan homes are covered. The earthquake is located east of the Kiril Islands. You'd hear something like this. And I happened to look over here at the computer and I saw the earthquake coming in. Anchorage residents felt the 5.8 magnitude earthquake that occurred around 4.45 p.m. Monday. Officials say we're lucky. Uh, had it been in the middle of Anchorage, there, there might have been more damage. But fortunately, it was in a, a less populated area. He's talking about the epicenter, located just 25 miles northwest of the city. A lucky strike for homeowners who may not be covered. What we see is about one out of three. That's how many homes Todd Jackson says have earthquake coverage. It's an optional addition to your home insurance policy, and Todd says many don't know that. Most policies are going to exclude damage that results from an earthquake. So that means you're on the hook for the loss of your personal belongings, for the damage to the structure, um, really any loss that would happen that's a direct result from the earthquake. Right after a quake occurs in the area, Todd says he gets dozens of calls, but you may be out of luck for a short time. Usually they'll have some sort of waiting period um, where they want to take a break before they'll write new policy. The cost for the additional coverage on average is about double what you pay for your policy. Jackson says here in Alaska, it's worth it. But we look at every claim and just try our best to get the real picture of what's happening. And if there's coverage, we want to actually pay for it. Megan, while I was at the Tsunami Warning Center today, they actually had an earthquake alarm go off. It was an earthquake just east of Kirov Islands near Russia. Luckily, it wasn't strong enough. Um, Guy Urban says an earthquake in that area could produce a tsunami that could threaten parts of Alaska. All right, Winnie, is it the cost to add coverage double in all areas of the state? Well, that's a good question. The premium varies based on different factors like the age of the home, the building materials, and your proximity to known fault lines. But it's a good idea to just check with your uh, provider to make sure what options you have. All right. Thank you, Whitney. ABC Alaska's Whitney L.B. Miller reporting.